If you thought that Trisha Paytas couldn't get any more offensive after doing blackface and saying the n-word, oh, you nigga. then just wait until you see her new Christmas song. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, Christmas is just around the corner and you know what that means. Influencers who think they can sing are hopping on the bandwagon and making Christmas songs. And don't get me wrong, there are some influencers who have made some great Christmas songs like Nessa Barrett and Taylor Holder. But then you have people like Ollie London. It's Christmas time in and the real life Snorlax from Pokemon, Trisha Paytas. And you know what's funny is that only a few days before she released this Christmas song, she identified as Jewish and was celebrating Hanukkah. People get exhausted trying to figure me out, and I just let them. And let's just say that people are not having it. One person commented, my religion isn't something you can do for fun. Another person said, uh, I'm not Jewish, but I know you're not supposed to light them all or even light one until sundown. And that's not the end of the offensive and downright stupid things that Trisha has done in this past month alone. The other day she attempted to look Arab by getting a really dark spray tan and dressing up as Princess Jasmine from Disney and posting this TikTok. I wish you would have listened to me when I told you I was so sad. I am so sad. All I gotta say is that Trisha's face said, while her hands said, this woman keeps changing her identity every other day of the week and it's hard to keep track. At this point, Trisha Paytas is a Jewish and Christian, transgender, black chicken nugget who is bisexual and self-diagnosed herself with an eating disorder, borderline personality disorder, and dissociative identity disorder. Yeah, that's a lot. I think that if the world's greatest psychologists like Sigmund Freud, B.F. Skinner, and Carl Rogers all came together to diagnose this girl, they'd all come to the conclusion by saying that this girl is absolutely fucked. Anyway guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Trisha Papaya's new Christmas song, roasting it, and just having a good laugh. But before we get into this, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, or else you'll smell like Trisha Paytas for the rest of your life. Which I'm guessing would probably smell like a combination of smelly armpits, eggs, and fish. But anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. Okay, so far, my honest opinion is that the cinematography is nice and I'm liking the setup of the living room. Overall, the visuals look professional, so kudos to that, but what in the autotune is this? If you thought that Danielle Cohn's autotune was bad, well, no, this just takes it another step higher. And is this girl actually writing a letter to Santa? From Anthony Padilla to James Charles to Dixie D'Amelio, this girl just can't stop getting herself into beef. I can guarantee you that after all the offensive shit Trisha Paytas has done in the past year, yellow past week, she is definitely on the naughty bus and ain't getting any presents from Santa this year. No, 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 what is this? What is that wig? With that spray tan and that wig, Trisha literally be looking like if Marilyn Monroe and Lovely Peaches got stuffed into a single person. Actually, I don't even know if I could say that because that would be offensive to both Marilyn Monroe and Lovely Peaches. Like you would have thought that after getting called out for doing blackface in the past that Trisha would have learned her lesson, but nope. After she got called out for gang guru, which literally translates to blackface, she was saying that it's not racist and it's part of the Japanese culture, which is supposed to go against traditional beauty standards. But at the end of the day, she's white and has no right to say whether or not black people should be offended. And she's also not Japanese and she's not doing it for the same reason that Japanese people do, which would make it cultural appropriation. So yeah, the point is, there's just no winning for her. Holy auto-tune. This girl's voice is fake, her tan is fake, her lips are fake, her hair is fake, and her melons are fake. Like, is there anything real about this girl? But what I do know is that with that pink shirt, that bleached blonde hair, and that dark spray tan, she'd literally be looking like Neapolitan ice cream. I 
I am so lost right now. Just imagine going on a nice late night walk on Christmas Eve until you see this thing staring out the window at you. Actually, I just realized, you know who she kind of looks like? A dollar store version of Lola from Shark Tale. Seriously though, what is going on? I just saw her going through 50 facial expressions within a matter of only five seconds. She went from looking excited, to sad, to happy, to scared, to confused, to mad as she throws presents and then punches the wall. This girl was changing those facial expressions as fast as she changes their skin tone. I'm really ambitious with my Amazon wish list. Send your gifts to my door. I'll unwrap it with my kisses. Speaking of Amazon wish list, I have a few things in mind which you might want to put on the top of your list. The first of them being some talents. Also, why does this girl have shoes on the bed? I I don't, I'm Canadian, I just know that we don't do that here. I don't know if that's an American thing. So all my American viewers watching right now, leave a comment down below if you wear shoes in the house because I'm actually really curious. Let's tick tock, round the clock, Christmas lights, eggnog, drop my booty, give it to me, all my fans, let's make a movie. Why am I not surprised that Trisha feels the need to sexualize everything, including a Christmas song, an advertiser only fans. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Because she can't do anything else other than being racist and lie about having personality disorders. Look, don't get me wrong, as long as what you're doing is legal, if you're making money, I respect that. But at the end of the day, this is a Christmas song and a song about a virus. So I, I just don't get the correlation there. What is going on? Why does she have a knife? This is supposed to be a happy Christmas song, but instead it's giving me Jack from The Shining vibes. And what's going on in that one scene with all those pictures hanging up on the wall? It reminds me of those creepy murder mystery shows where they break into the killer's room and find 100 pictures of the person they're stalking in their room. Uh, I don't know, the fact that she's smiling while this is all going on, ugh, just gives me chills. It's a messed up time in a messed up world. Stop. Kiss me through your mask. It tastes like milk. What the f- I, I am so lost. Like, I am genuinely so confused with what is going on. I have no idea what that line about the milk was all about, but saying that and then transitioning to that aggressive dance move, it just made me really uncomfortable. Seriously though, what in the dollar store Britney Spears is this? <laughs> Not only is she trying to sound like her, but her shirt is literally the same from the one Britney was wearing in her music video for Crazy. This is like going on Amazon and ordering yourself a personal Britney Spears and then finding Trisha Paytas in the mail. Seriously though, with that bass drop and that aggressive dance move she was doing gave me secondhand embarrassment. It reminds me of those cringy talent shows that we all had to sit through back in the third grade. Wait, were those gunshots? Serious question, why? Like, this is a Christmas song, why the gunshots? I don't understand. There's so much going on in this music video right now that reminds me of a five-year-old slapping paint all over a white piece of paper and calling it art. Like, what do gunshots have to do with Christmas or with the virus? I, oh my god. And the fact that Trisha Paytas had the audacity to say that Dixie D'Amelio's song was trash and then she posts this. Like, did Trisha hear her own song or was she listening to it on mute? I mean, if there's one thing that's for sure is that this song is definitely an improvement from the time that she was on America's Got Talent. Every single summer when I turn on my TV, I'm watching HT thinking how should be me on that stage, not a case, show my soul off a pole, then take it seriously because I never had a song that. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and did have a good laugh because Christmas isn't gonna be the same this year and we all deserve to have a good laugh. And if you did enjoy my video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.